Hello, Lillas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I am here with baby Zeke, and I am going to get him dressed. I don't know. I don't know if I will keep him on this outfit because he is a little cuddle bug. So what I've so far learned that I like is that he feels good in sleepers and like pants outfits like my Phoebe. So um, I'm going to put him on this short set. It might be too big too, but we're going to see how it go. And then if that doesn't work out, then later off camera, I'll change him into something else. Okay. All right. So if you guys don't know, um, he is a baby that I adopted from Yarlena's Reborn Nursery. So he was painted and rooted by her. And he is in my personal collection. Chub chub. <laughs> so I wanted to see what he looked like in, uh oh, let me unsnap that. And something else. So you guys, I noticed like, I don't know if you guys do that, but I have like certain babies. I only want to put, you know, short sets on or like they're summer babies. And then I have babies that are um, winter babies. And then I have some babies that are seasonal. I mean, uh, all, all season round. Like I, I don't, all year long, I don't mind them in the winter and summer. So, put on his little socks. I like the way the um, the mottlin is around this arm, this this arm and this elbow, and that that looks nice. Um, um, I'm one of those people like with my babies. I pick out little small stupid things that <laughs> other people don't really pay attention to. That like. Oh, I like that part. <laughs> it could be like an ear or a nose or a pinky. Just little things that just draws my attention. So don't mind me. He has a little hat that goes with this. Oh, Mahanga. Mahanga. So, um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna love him in this, but that's why I brought the long socks because to see if it gives me that feel as if he has on a sleeper or something. Don't worry about his hair, I'll, I'll fix it once he gets on his clothes. This color looks good on him, I think. So yeah, I don't know. I This is why like I have so many babies in my collection, but I go through phases. Like some people, you know, they do like a whole rotation and they interact with almost every one of their babies um like every week. They they like they do Oh, I'm just pull this baby out. I'm going to pull that baby out. I'm going to pull this. Baby. I get stuck on the same, you know, one or two babies at a time. So it's almost like I like being a small collector, like, a, you know, like having a small collection. But I love having a variety. So it's like everybody else become, you know, display babies while the other one is like the real baby in the house. You know what I mean? And then, I, then it's, it swaps back out. Um, and it changes. And I, I don't know if it's, you know, depending on what mood I'm in, you know, how I'm feeling, you know. Or if it's like if I get new outfits that fit one baby more than the other. If I fall, you know, more in love with that. Like, I don't know what, what changes things for me. 
So he's not going to need these. I had brought these just in case. I was like, ah, oh, he could wear sandals instead of socks. But I knew he, I was going to want him with the socks. And this little hat. <laughs> you know once my babies have hair I don't really the hat thing is not a not a thing for me <laughs> as much um, it's like nah, we've, we've I've, I have enough babies that can wear hats but um but yeah I I am one of those people like I and then if if I have too many babies in one one spot one room I get like I feel frustrated like I don't like it um like they as long as they got their own space so I'm glad I added the little shelves because that's been working so much for me and then I have this crib here and then I have the other crib and I was going to get rid of my rocker, but I decided I'm going to keep that rocker. So I put the new baby in that. I have to show you guys, like, once I'm done with all my painting. Because right now I have, like, about three, four tables. Little mini tables set up. And I have, like, a bunch of Reborns on it. And then I have my, um, I end up putting another, uh, setting up a whole nother workstation for silicone. So anyway... Uh, I know you guys get tired of me telling y'all what I got going on in here, but it is, it's, it's like, it's so crazy for me because I'm, I'm always like decluttering and trying to rip myself of alleviate certain things. And then I end up having to go right back to the same place where I was. So I just trying to keep it like, I like when I walk into the nursery and it's just like everything is in its place and I just feel at so much of a peace and a calm and sometimes I just want to just sit down in the nursery and just relax and I don't get to do that as often as I would like but when the nursery is a mess because I'm working in here and you know this is also my my um peaceful room like people have a, a sitting room and stuff like that but I sit and I um, I, I wait babies, I, I paint in here, I do all this stuff in here, and, and so it just, it's hard to keep it all good, but this new way that I've set things up have helped me a lot, so I think the key to being a collector and an artist at the same time is finding a flow or a functional setup that works for both where you can maintain some type of um you know organization and stuff like that so that's where I'm at now I think I'm almost there there's a few more things that I want to do to tweak things and um then I'll be good but he has this little Ziki um pacifier and he does look good with a pacifier But I, I don't know, I might keep him with the pacifier on. But yeah, that's, so that's him. Um, and I know you guys hadn't seen him in a while, but he's here. He's here. He has his spot. I think I'm going to, I wanted to move him up on the shelf. Because he was at one of the, the, the lower shelves. So I may swap him up you know move them around but I try to keep my silicone up to the highest level um so the reborns are at the lower level but once I um decide who's going in the cribs and all that stuff I think I'm going to uh change things again um I was going to get this one little shelf where they put the little baskets that everybody's been doing um in here so that I can have even more babies but I said you know what that's just going <laughs> to, I think it's going to be an enabler. It's going to make me want to get more babies and or feel like I can keep 
more babies in here. So, um, I think once I go back to work, it's going to level out for me because, um, I won't be buying as many blanks. And so right now I have so many kits that I feel like I got to get painted because I mean, that's, it's a lot of money sitting in silicone. Um, I'm not even going to think about the vinyl. Um, so there's that. And I'm also, and that's the other thing. I also, I am also going back to, I will be painting some of my vinyl kits because <laughs> me and one of my, um, customers slash, uh, dollar friends were talking about how the market is starting is everybody is like not painting, you know, vinyl. Um, uh, everybody's wanting to switch over to silicone. And so, um, it's going to open up a market for the people that do reborns, which a lot of people don't think like that. And I probably shouldn't discuss it out loud, but that's, that's how I work. I move, I, I like to work against the, 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 the trend. So if everybody starts swimming, you know, West, I swim East. Everybody swim East, I swim West. Like, so, um, you know, that's something for some people, for some of you guys, should think about the ones that don't want to do silicone and you are a great reborn artist and you're doing well but you feel like everybody's going to silicone and you feel pressured and you feel like um you're not going to survive because everybody's wanting silicone well just keep in mind there are a lot of people that still do not like silicone or do not have the money to pay for silicone and or do not you know they just they prefer their reborns and so when everybody switch over to the silicone there's going to be a need for reborn artists so some of you guys if you're really good at what you do for reborns and you make pretty good money don't worry your stock is going up <laughs> um because people are going to be desperate and even some of the mediocre artists are going to do well because people are going to be desperate because everybody's going to be like, I'm doing silicone. And once you do silicone, it's kind of hard to go back to vinyl painting because essentially it feels like silicone is easier or less work because you don't have to, you don't have to stop and bake. And a lot of people do this fast curing with the heat dryer thing. I don't do that. I don't even own a heat dryer. But so they're able to keep going and they don't have to go into putting it in the oven and, you know, taking it out and waiting for it to cool. And um, I don't know, just something about that just makes it feel like um, it's less. And I don't know, sometimes with silicone, less is best. So, um... The part about silicone that's trickier is that it's more expensive and it's less forgiving in the, the technical part of it. But otherwise, you I don't know. And then when you're done with vinyl, you got to weight it, you got to do this, you got to do that. With silicone, once you're done painting and you finish matting, voila, the baby is all together. Unless, you know, you're doing a cuddle or a partial. Full body, you know, only thing you're doing is, you know, washing and dressing. So, um, it feels different. Uh, let me say that. It feels different to a lot of people. But the intensity during the painting process and the matting process and the pressure. Um, and, and sometimes it's a, it's a good pressure. It's a good thing. Like, right now I'm waiting for a baby to cure. I'm, I matted, matted it. And I'm just waiting. And I don't know what the outcome going to be. So, that's always, like, you know, a very intense moment for me. Um... But, because there's no going back, just FYI, you know, if it if it don't look good, it don't look good. I mean, sometimes you could paint over it, depending on if you just, you did less and not too much. But if you've done too much, that's, that's it. Um, but I think it's going to be, still going to be a place for both. It really is. I am actually a bit frustrated as a collector myself because I don't have anyone to go to to buy my reborns from. So that's why I have not sold my reborn supplies. I'm still, you know, holding on to a bunch of kits. And I keep saying I'm going to sell them. But every time I think about it, I'm like, you know, the market is changing. This vinyl is changing. 
Um, now all the kits are coming very orangey and it's a thicker, it, the vinyl feel thicker sometime. And, um, you know, so some of these older kits that I have is like, um, they're going to be like a dream to paint. So I don't, I don't know that I want to, um, I don't know if I, if I want to, you know, get rid of my stuff yet. So, um, and also I may paint some and, you know, sell them as ball babies. Um, just because I have some that I just really want to paint, but I don't root vinyl. So I don't know. We'll see. But I feel, I feel like, you know, it's going to be interesting over the next few months, um, years, the next year. Um, and then with the new Genesis and, uh, uh well, the new paint for heat set paints for the vinyl, you know, we're going through that transition as well. People trying to find what medium works and what all you can do with it and what we like and what we don't like. And we're going to find what's a better product, you know, a product than Genesis. And some people are going to, you know, feel like there's never going to be anything better than Genesis, but I think it's going to be some stuff that's going to work better. And, um, we're, we're going to go through that phase. And so we're going to learn what lasts, what fades, what color changes after, you know, a while. Like everything looks great right off, but it's the over time that I want to see what's going to happen. You know, um, with Genesis, the color pretty much stayed for years and years. I have a baby that's 10 years old and nothing has changed. The color hasn't faded. It hasn't gotten, you know, it hasn't changed in any type of way. Um, the sealer is still good and tight and everything. I also have, um, baby blessing. I've had, um, him for six years. So, um, you know, we have to see how this new stuff works and how it holds up and they can be, you know, they've been out exposed to sunlight, even though I don't keep my babies in sun. And even though I have a lot of windows in this room, I, I watch, you know, which way the light comes in all throughout the day. So I turn my blinds to a, a place to where um, at any given time during the day, that, that sunlight never beams on my babies. And I try to keep them pretty much away from the window or the, the where they can get sunlight on them. Um, it's just one of my things. And even when I'm not home, I leave the temperature on to where my room my doll room is still going to be at a good temperature for my dolls so it's just a lot of things that we do well I do you know for my dolls um some people might think it's crazy um but that's that's what I do I, I mean I have a lot of money invested in these in these dolls blank kits painted kits you know um so, and that's another thing what I love about the shelf too. They are very much protected from the sunlight, even though they're, you know, they're right by a window um, because they're, they're in that little cubby. So it's really, it's really nice. Um, and I, I said I was going to upgrade it, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade it because I was thinking to myself, also, I like them being just very open and accessible to me. I do not let my grandkids in here or anyone in my nursery for that matter without me being right on their heel and um I keep my I keep it locked so um I'm actually getting ready to upgrade I haven't did it yet but I I'm going to upgrade my lock actually to to uh fingerprint access only in here for my um my doll room as well but yeah I just I'm very, very particular about my babies in my collection and that I work on and stuff like that. So, um, there's that. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the chat. It's a nice sitting down and chatting. I must get on. I'm going to go and finish rooting while this baby cures and then we're going to see how that goes. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Ugh, I don't even know where to...
stop the camera.